The mail this week does three things. Blasts this network, blasts this program, and defends the way Jim Pinkerton dresses. Sort. Leading off is Dennis O'Hare from Brooklyn, New York. When will Fox News start covering the Bush administration objectively and give them the same sort of scrutiny as was given to the Clinton administration? The last week we compared the minimal media coverage of Joshua McKay Brown, the convicted homosexual rapist and murderer, to the extensive coverage of the Matthew Shepard case, in which the victim was gay. Matthew Patton of Jacksonville, Florida, writes this. It is nonsense to claim that this represents a double standard. If the rapist had been heterosexual, the story would never have made the news. If Matthew Shepard had been heterosexual, he never would have been murdered. Kevin Barbie from Osaka, Japan, writes, Media-related gay groups would want to hide the rape-murder story because it could give fuel to stereotypes that gay men are crazed sexual perverts, which just isn't the case. Most sex crimes and sexual abuse are perpetrated by heterosexuals, but that's just not newsworthy. And from Tom Kramer, Corvallis, Oregon, you missed the point that homosexuality doesn't cause pedophilic murders. Fox News was incorrect to propagate the anti-gay smear tactic of equating gays with murderers. Will a gay kleptomania story be next? None of us equated gays with murderers, Mr. Kramer, and Jeff Cohen, for one, strongly defended the extensive coverage of the Shepherd case.